Okay, peeps. Here's what's on the menu today. A little addition. Well, that's what's on her menu. <laughs> a little addition to the to the scrap pile. It's a little beat up, but what it lacks in togetherness, it makes up in hardware. So I got 12 angle angle braces. Uh, two big hinges. Let me see here. Two big hinges. I don't know what they had. This is a hutch or the chicken run for this little bitty coop that I'm about to show you. We got those hinges, the angle brackets, an eyelet, and then this cute little number here. See, look at that. Got a hook and an eye, some more hinges. What's that? Is that another hook? Maybe I moved that, but. A little nesting box just needs to be fixed up. Might even, well, no, they, then a roosting pole, but this roosting pole I'm gonna keep. It's uh, incorrect. If you got chickens, you know why, or if you do have chickens and you don't know why, you want something square because when they grip it and sit overnight, after a long period of time, they get. Uh, club foot their knuckles their knuckles start to, to bend and and deform and it's not good for them then you end up with a poor little crippled chicken <clears throat> but yeah like i said so nice little find what it makes up in togetherness and and in beauty and makes up <clears throat> in hardware yeah here's that other little eyelet so, I mean, I could scrap this whole thing and have a little bit of firewood and plenty of hardware, or I could throw some paint on it, a couple of screws, tack this down, and have me another little, little house. Could even close that back off, use some of that chicken wire, close that back off, use this door here, obviously, put a light in here, and, and it could be like a little brooder just use anything really I mean it's just whatever you want to use your imagination and, and make it into turn it into got the hardware still fairly functional but yeah you never know what you're gonna find and it, also if you don't stop and pick it up you just ain't gonna have it but with that being said scrapping and, and finding these finds like this if you take the time to get it and then repurpose it you're good to go you don't always have to spend a thousand dollars at atwoods for a chicken coop i would never 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 i won't even spend 500 200 100 no sir because all this sanford and son pile here i got for free Okay, so this stuff was a little bit of work. I ripped up a deck and I got to keep the lumber. <clears throat> Excuse me. But other than that, everything came for free. Some scraps off an old job. This is completely built and, and still fairly sturdy. It just, some sandpaper and some paint and this thing would be ready to go. Maybe tack down the chicken wire at the bottom. I guess that was for predator barrier. It don't really seem to serve any other purpose to me. Well, backside's open. So maybe they had like this little bitty coop. Maybe they just had one or two chickens. And they had all this coop together with a little micro run. And then some underneath cubby so they could get in the shade and just feel feel protected here's these girls came to say hi big mama and one of the surviving rojo trios let me see if i can find that other one and show you what she looks like she got tuffled up pretty good where is she 
Not run at her. But yeah, poor girl, she she bare breasted wherever she is. Oh, here she comes. Up the up the hill. If you look close, you can see how it's all gray. Oh she's running. Anyway, so that shouldn't be all gray. She should be all red all over, but she's fluffed up. She got rolled around by whatever came in here and stirred up my flock. Luckily, I didn't lose everything. It's definitely a possibility, but I lost my one chicken that really mattered. Not that all chickens don't matter, but pretty boy was something special. Move this and gather this up to start some compost. Come here, girl. Come here, I know it. we want to see your poor feathers. You can see. Oh well. She don't want to, she don't want to let us look at her. But anyways. So. That's that. Let these guys out. I really just wanted to show this. What, 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 what can be done. Pretty much on a, a zero zero budget. There's no no cost went into this. Just getting out, just a little elbow grease. Shoved it in the car and towed it on out. And uh, I'll do something with it for sure. Just like all of this, this all will eventually one day be built into some kind of a project. And just look at the shanty house. <laughs> That's made out of scrap 4x4s, four uh, some 2x4s, and then the walls are actual flooring that I picked up off the side of the road. So, yeah, and the doors are scabbing from somewhere. Well, look at her. She's like taking a good old dirt bath here. Oh, yeah, I bet that feels nice and cool, huh? It's kind of a retainer wall, but I ain't gonna mess with her. She ain't really hurting nothing. All right, well, as I like to say in closing, ooh, look at her go. And look, here comes old tuffled up fluff fluff. Oh, here, big mama. She's my pet. Look at her. She likes to get pets. That's right, guys. Chickens like pets. Oh, yeah, big mama. <laughs> You're a good chicken. You're a good chicken. All right, well, anywho. Deuces! Say bye, big mama. Some deuces. Nothing to eat here on me bibs. Alright. <laughs>